as always, before I start anything, whoever doesn't like what's about to be heard or seen in this kind of video can click away. Okay? So, let's just get started. <laughs> Yeah, I'm making all of these kind of calls and stuff. But enough about that. Hey everyone. It's me. Uh, today is Friday, 26th January. It's 40 degrees outside. It's 11.38 a.m. And, uh, Right now I'm on a field trip at uh, pretty much a crazy, primitive and deserted area. Not really deserted, because right now I'm at a very small hotel, but a manageable one. And right now I'm sitting down in front of the, in front of the sea. And literally, it's just pretty good weather right now. Like, there is, well, there is some kind of a sunlight on me. It has a weather. Because of the cold weather. But it's not that cold. It seems to be back at 9 a.m. This is it. What I can see right now are people having boat rides in their small boats. I could have tried that, but literally at the beach, there's a fucking sleeping dog. I'm not even joking. The dog's probably gone and went up to another area. The fact that there is a dog inside the hotel area is an absolute insane mess. But for God's sakes, can they, like, I don't know, get it the fuck out of the area? Jesus, insane. This dog can't really get it to the beach, get it to near the beach. Especially when there's a very nice seat. You know, literal nice sheltered seat. But hey, uh, the place that I'm sitting down at right now is more than satisfactory. You know, this chair and the sea is right in front of me from a little bit of a fire height. And it was very nice. And yeah, I might try and stop listening. And stop listening to Moonlight Dead Sets of Soul Watch because she's rewinding that shit for a long time. Along with rewinding a lot of stuff. Also, I've finished of watching the original Sailor Moon and now I'm at episode 20. I stopped at episode 20 in Sailor Moon R. And all that I can say is what the hell was with that bittersweet ending? There was no sailor. Then, eventually, and eventually, it gets even worse. Like, everyone, they don't have their memories for a while until Luna says, fuck it, let's turn them back into sailor sections. At pretty much episode 2 or 3 of Sailor Moon. And then, after a few more episodes of Mamoru calling. Mamoru Kolin Usagi Odango Atama At the final fight against Eiru and Anne They get their fucking memories And they become lovers But then It gets even worse Speaking of worse stuff There are some idiots Are 
swinging the goddamn boat like an idiot. And if you have children and older women in there, you guys can stop. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, right now it's, uh, yeah, it's a decent field trip. We're only be going at a very deserted area. You know, an actual desert. Spend some time in it. Let me tell you, it'll be quite insane. I'm continuing to speak about Sarah and literally one episode. After literally one episode of Mamoru and Usagi finally dating, Mamoru had to be a fucking buster. You know? Mamoru Shiba. Buster. Straight buster. <laughs> Like, come on, me, come on. You really had to mess that relationship up with her. Like, is it because you have some traumatizing memory of her dying or some shit? Dude, just date her normally and protect her like how you did back in your tuxedo mask days, you don't fuck. Didn't have to ditch her after literally one episode. Chibiusa shows up and she has more bullshit on the side. While she's already having a hard time moving over Mamoru's stupid stuff. And what's even worse, Mamoru's getting getting all over Chibiusa already. Dude, she's a fucking kid! Are you fucking kidding me? You can't treat her like that. What I mean, Usagi is underage, but STILL! <laughs> oh my god. Darian shields were like Darian shitbusters. <laughs> yeah, until I watch the episode where they finally go back together and all this, I'm gonna still call him Darian Busters. <laughs> If we are talking in DIC localization. However, let's just say one more shit paste. <laughs> shit toothpaste. <laughs> like, come on, man. It's ridiculous, honestly. But. But hey, the original anime and Sailor Moon are all the way until Super S, I gotta say, it's an amazing anime. And no, I will never touch C and Sailor Moon Crystal stuff, even with a 10 feet pole. Like, they butchered everyone's looks. I mean everyone, especially Usagi, with her original VA in there. They butchered her. They butchered her along with everyone else, especially Makoto. Like, oh my god. Makoto, my girl. Makoto, my girl, I love you, but holy fuck, you gotta get out of that. Like, sure, we make that whole anime in a very recent modernized style, but nope. This shit is way horrible. They look horrible. Of course, others' opinion might differ, but hey, that's just mine. Your different. Anyways, uh, what would I say? But like I said, everything from the 90s, you know, all the way until Super S, is a uh, is fucking good, honestly. Although. I've had a bit of a problem before I even started watching the episode, the episodical version of uh, Sailor Moon R. Because you see, Sailor Moon, Sailor Moon R and, you know, all the way until Super S had two versions. Sailor Moon S, like literally, R until Super S got a, got a movie. Like, got the original TV show version, and a movie, a whole ass movie, which is very weird, I gotta tell you. 
like really really big and I was quite confused why we actually just decide to settle on watching the show because that's how everything is uh, you know. yeah. Sailor Moon as a whole is what represents, well, most humans back in the day. That they're just regular people who are trying to live their normal life very normally and very happily, and most importantly, find love. And whenever they try and catch someone good, they either turn out to be a fucking what is it, heaven, heavenly king, or an an alien, or just another bitch ass Yoma. Like, come on, man, come on, man. Then there is uh, Ray's grandpa, aka Granola Bar. <laughs> yes, I I nicknamed this dude Granola Bar, cause that's what it, how it was referenced back in the DIC dub. Granola Bar. <laughs> like especially when Ray said. Grandpa, you have been act ever since you fell off the roof, you've been acting more like a granola bar. <laughs> oh, I get it. There was no meatballs in the side of the head to fit with the spaghetti inside. Or something like that. But yeah, this shit is insane. Like, hey, it's insanely good. And honestly, I'm glad that I've been watching it. Because back then, especially when I was a kid, I won't be able to watch it. Because back in the day, there was this boy versus girl, that's the thing. You know, watch this and you're a boy, watch this, you're a girl. The show is for boys, so it's for girls, yada yada yada. You know? And it was a pretty stupid mentality back then. But then again, old times. Especially when you mix it with, uh, you know, everyone at a young age and all this kind of stuff. It's crazy. But, you know, hey, it's a pretty good time. Like, it's a very good time. And honestly, yeah, like I said, it is great. Like, I really enjoy watching this out of almost everything that is out nowadays. Like, in the, the likes of uh, Spy X Family, Darling the Franks, uh, these whole new episodes of One Piece, new arcs and whatsoever. That new Bleach, uh, Thousand War, Thousand Year War, some shit. All this kind of stuff. But, I mean, hey. It is what it is, you know, and it's, uh, it's not such a bad thing. But like I said, excuse me for a second. So like, yeah, Sailor Moon is the, pretty much the best break from every bullshit that we have from nowadays. And if someone ever asked me whether I would watch uh, One Piece or not, I would never watch it. Not even as 10 feet tall. Especially 
when it's the first ever fucking anime to have like what 1000 episodes 500 episodes by now like dude who's ever gonna watch each and every single one of those episodes like to even bing watch a whole season like how many episodes bear a fucking season at this point for literal for literally like one piece 100 episodes per a season or some shit but that's not good bro and unless someone literally tells me what what are the episodes that have fil- that have actual plot and you know which episodes that have absolute unnecessary flashbacks and fillers like unless someone gives me this kind of info I will never touch one piece even with a 10 feet pole that's just how I see it okay forget it <laughs> but not about that So, uh, but hey, it's safe to say that I'm like a huge Sailor Moon fan by only playing the, a few video games and watching the whole show in Japanese, not in any of those dubs, because let me real, those dubs kind of suck. The DLC dub with its horribly cringe opening is just not worth it. And the this dub, well, it, it does a good job in actually implementing the original Japanese name of it whatsoever. But I'm not so sure about the openings, nor I'm sure about the Anything. But like I said, it's just it's just pretty stupid. And you could probably just butcher get butcher at some point. Not only this, but Saki has multiple voice actresses, which is Pretty much similar to Dragon Ball Z, when Goku has multiple voice actors, Vegeta has multiple voice actors, and so on. Differs from each, like, like each copy of Dragon Ball Z dub is different from the other, etc. Yeah, etc. Et it's pretty crazy. else let's see I have got GTA 4 again and this time it's complete edition and it's actually pretty fun you know it's pretty fun it's very good but the only thing is I cannot mod it like at all because it's a cracked copy so that's a huge fun a huge fun yeah, so goddamn it's so like some shit. <sighs> okay. Anyway, uh that's the, that's a huge problem. I cannot mod my crack copy of GTA 4. Especially with fusion fix and the uh, you know those crazy ass other mods. Like, I can't even put the menu on to it without having to, you know, downgrade the game into a lower version. And somehow damage the game for it. 
the point where it can't even boot up. Which is absolutely ridiculous. And then of course there is uh, Tomb Raider anniversary. Then I have to re-download that shit again. <sighs> and I fucking hate it, man. Well, oh well. What can you do? Like, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna just crack it again and play it as it is. Except that I'm gonna only add the, uh, the XVK thing. Uh, yeah. I don't think there are any more new stuff, I mean, in terms of gaming. But uh, that's about to change. But it's not gonna be too new or too amazing by any means. Mm. I wonder when the hell is with our little instructor the cause so we can go on some next stuff and all this. It's gonna be kinda cool. But hey, like I said. It's uh, it's very fun. It's very good. Um, getting relaxed actually. The first time in months. Let's just hope that I can continue to relax a little bit later on. You know, especially, especially that the results can actually come on pretty good. Like, I, I'm not gonna wish or hope for it, cause, let's just be to reality. No. Oh jeez, those goddamn flies. That's a way to get out, jeez, I was just... But, uh, yeah. I think that's pretty much of everything that I'm gonna be talking about. Cause, everything else, I might just... Not speak for it. And if anyone cares enough to ask me who is your favorite sailor out of the original five, if anyone cared enough to do that, for me, I'll definitely say Makoto Kino, aka Lita. Because Let's be real, she is fucking perfect. But here's just one problem. This bitch keeps talking about her goddamn high school senior who have broke her heart. <laughs> like, whenever I see stuff like this, I'm like, oh, ah, shit, here we go again. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it, Lita. Why the fuck do you have to talk about your old boyfriend? <laughs> I could like go from top to bottom ranking. Like it's fuck. If I would rank them down from top to bottom, well, uh, I'd say Makoto, the Minako, Ray, Ami. Now actually, Usagi, then Ami. That's how I rank them. Definitely be at the very bottom. And the good old Super uh, Sailor Guardians, you know, like Michelle and uh, Haruka. Or Michelle, Michelle and Amara. Michiru and Haruka. Uh, I wouldn't rank them yet. I wouldn't be ranking them yet. No. Gotta wait until I watch Sailor Moon Super S. <laughs> Cause those bitches do not appear except in Super S. But I think Haruka and Michio appear in Sailor Moon S. Shit. <laughs> S. Super S. R. What the hell are with these letters? 
<laughs> I think they would rather if they just call it butt crack. <laughs> okay, that was a bad deal. Well, I think I'm gonna just close this out for now. I'm gonna make a part two of this little uh, recap and talk when I'm back from my little field. So, see you later.